This is a quick video from attorney Sharp Rally on uh, premium processing and RI fees. Um, I have always mentioned whenever we someone want to do premium processing uh, to go ahead and do premium because uh, there is no there's no nothing special that happens except it goes faster. But recently we have noticed, and that's not in all cases, in every case, right? Especially in H-1B cases, whenever someone is filing for an for a, for for a case under premium processing, which pretty much gives a 15 days uh, uh, give 15 days to your USCIS Department of Homeland Security to answer your 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 application, they they are getting hit by an RFE. We don't know why is this, why this is happening, but one of the theory is that it buys us some buys some time, and oftentimes many of those RFEs are are quote unquote ridiculous and uh, some of them really are, are strong and actually give a hard time to many people. So the RFE once it's issued, until you answer the RFE, the, the time is tall basically until you answer the RFE, then uh, USCIS have 15 days to answer after you answer the RFE. And we are seeing, unfortunately, if you don't file the case under premium, the, the other thing that is happening, you're seeing cases getting delayed. For example, an extension is taking around six to eight months to get approved. An amendment is taking five to six months. And an H-1B transfer is taking around eight months also. So pick your poison now. The question is, should you file under premium or not? Well, depending on your case, you should file under premium if you need really to get an answer quickly especially if you have to go for counselor processing and you have to go get a stamping you don't want the uh, to pass the 180 days of unlawful presence or if you are doing an i-140 we recommend uh, going ahead with uh, what we call um, a premium um, as for the h1b uh, premium is on a case-by-case -case basis but we recommend a premium now pretty much on all the cases Except new cases that you're filing under the cap, then uh, uh, we don't see any reason someone should file uh, under premium. Having said that, now this is just basically something we have observed. It's not the, the legal theory. It's based on, on, on the number of cases we are getting and where RFEs are being issued. And there's nothing in there that really kind of explain uh, that RFEs are being uh, capriciously issued except that some of them really don't make sense. Sometimes you're getting two RFEs and cases, which is something rare, but it's happening now. So bottom line, should you file in the premium or not depend on your case. Uh, just because you're going to get an RFE should not discourage you from filing under premium because premium has its own advantage. So this is my take on this, uh, ladies and gentlemen. As per today, March 4, 2016, we are seeing a lot of RFEs being issued, but Having said that again, sometimes it's good to do premium and in fact it's recommended to file a case in the premium. So in order to determine that, it's better to do a consultation with a good lawyer who can actually help. The number you can call us at is 510-742-5887 and anything I told you today is purely my opinion and for educational purposes only. You should not act or refrain to act solely on the information provided. You should contact an attorney if you have any questions. Good luck to you and the, uh, the website to check is attorneyonair.com.